Show the imperfection. Show the gi. How does it fit? How much has the color faded? Are they worth the money? How's it holding up? Well, let's follow up with a second Origin Gi long-term review. I've continued to use my same two Origin Gis. I've got this white one right here, which I will show you now in full detail. Personally, I don't mind how much the color has faded. I don't use any special kind of treatment for keeping a gi clean and white. Honestly, this one has held up much better than my other gis. I'll try to pull it up and give you a very close look. I would say it's it's a little bit gray, and, and other parts of it are, are a little bit more white. But with how much abuse this thing takes, the color fading has held up very, very well. And especially when you can consider that you can do very, very easy treatments to make a gi more clean and more white. If this video gets 100 likes, I'll make a video on how to restore a faded white gi. But I've not done any of that, to be honest. I just train in this thing. I, when I get home, honestly, I throw it in the wash with all my other jujitsu stuff. All my other, doesn't matter if it's black, if it's pink, if it's purple, it doesn't matter. I'm throwing it all in the wash and I'm using hot water and I'm using soap and I'm probably using a little bit of tea tree oil. And then I put that thing in the dryer and I put it on high. So this is the most heavy use case any gi is gonna get. And I'll show you how it fits right now. It says warm wash, tumble dry, it's an A3L. And I like to get my gis to be slightly big because I'm gonna wash them very hot, I'm going to dry them on high and I'm gonna abuse them. So I want them to shrink and they'll shrink over time. So when this thing first came in, it was probably a little bit long, but right now it's the perfect length. It goes right out to my hands. When I was, um, it was probably right about here when I first got it, but now fully extended in a natural position. This is where it stands. And I'm a little bit weird in a lot of ways, but one of those is I actually don't mind having a bit of extra room for people to grab on my gi. I think it's part of the game. I think it's fun. And I always say, if you're grabbing me, well, I'm also grabbing you. I mean, it's a grip you can choose to let go on, so it's different, but I think it's part of the jiu-jitsu game. But let's talk about the thing that nobody wants to talk about, the damage on the Origin Gi. Let's take a look at it. So, right here. Not looking good right there. That's yeah, not looking good. But it hasn't spread, and I have continued to abuse this gi. I think I'll make a follow-up video with me taking this to a tailor to get it fixed up, and I'm sure it'll get patched up without issue, and it'll continue to perform. Um, overall, at all of the seams, the gi has held up extremely well. And I gotta say, I'm I'm very very tough on these gis. I abuse them. Um, the stitching, they overstitch these things, which is awesome because they need to be. The construction is very, very good, um, but as you can see right here, there's a little hole. And you know, this could have come from the washing machine, right? I'm, I'm going to say I, I take full responsibility. I, I'm very difficult on these things. But I've had this now for probably two years. This is the newer one for me. I've had this one for two years, and it's a white gi. It hasn't faded very much. It's really, really awesome. I wish I had the pants, but I actually, I think I lost the pants, so it's pretty sad. But I do have my dark navy blue pants. Same with this gi top. And this is the one I've had the longest. And it's the exact same size right here. But um, I honestly think this one fits a little bit, a little bit tighter. Um, I, I don't remember if they're the exact same weave. I guess... I'll, um, I'll, I'll look on their website and I'll put a little pop-up if I can get the exact type of gi this is. But wearing the gi in a, in a natural stance, yeah, I'd say it's, I mean, it's like about a finger length shorter, but you know, it, there's always a little bit of play. This one maybe shrunk a little bit more. It's one I've had a little bit longer. Regardless, it, it fits very well. This one's probably my, my tightest fitting one. And it's held up better than the white one. 
I don't think there are any issues that I've seen. And the seams are held up very, very well. And I'm, I'm very difficult on my geese, right? These, these seams, these things, people grab on them, I grab on them, right? And you pull on them, but it's all held up very well. The stitching right here on the Origin logo, very, very nice. Um, all of the parts where geese would start to fray and break on other brands, right? There's so much stitching and padding. And right here, it's, it's started to fray. You can see some of that foam inside there. But this gi, I've had for much, much longer. I've had other gi tops come and go in that time. And this one has held up extremely well. The color too, since it's a dark blue, it hasn't faded at all in any way that I would care. I mean, it's not the same deep, dark color that it was when it first came in. As you can see, it's a little bit white, it's a little bit faded, but it's held up very, very well. The biggest thing that happens on geese is the lapel starts to degrade, but as you can see, it's, it's held up very, very well. I gotta try the pants on for you guys. These are regular pants that have string, but it's a different kind of string. It's not, it's not one of those circular strings that fray up at the end. It's um, just burnt here at the very tip and it's a, it's a flat type of string kind of like a shoelace but the string is held up very very well again I treat these pants honestly worse than I treat the gi tops because I wear these pants sometimes with no gi classes so the pants see even more use and to be honest pants are the thing that break more often than gi tops and these things have been under more use and I've abused them in the washing machine I don't <laughs> look I gotta get my laundry done and I know there's a better way to do it and I, but I just throw it in there I put all the stuff I put it on hot I put it on high I throw it in the dryer and I dry it I just dry it and then when it's done I throw it in my gym bag and I do it again and these things have held up very very well so these are these are a little bit tighter fitting so as you can see around the uh, pants here you know these are the same size as the tops and there's a, there's a little bit of room, there's a little bit of play, but I'd say overall it's it's a tighter fitting pant. I would say the fading on these pants, especially around the knees area where you would expect it to fade a lot, it's held up pretty well. Keep in mind the washing machine. You should, re you can honestly, you can make the color go a really long way if you simply just don't wash it really hot and make sure you just I don't know. Don't don't talk to me because I don't care about my my geese fading. I these things are an expense and they wear out over time. So, is it worth the money to buy you know something like this, something like this, which can go for I don't know a lot more money than something like a Fuji gi, which is probably around a hundred dollars depending on inflation. So maybe maybe not a hundred dollars anymore. It's only worth it if you're going to use it for a long period of time. So I'd say don't invest in an origin gi until you're at least a blue belt. Honestly, white belts drop out a little bit more and it only is worth the extra money if you're gonna use it for at least two years. After two years is about how long a normal gi, if you're gonna abuse it like I do, will start to wear out and break. Especially these gi pants. Honestly, if you wanna save some money, just get the gi pants and buy a cheaper gi top because gi tops will hold up. And this is very nice. I, I like how thin this, this is, but it's so strong. And so it's not very hot, it's not very heavy. I love this material, I love my origin geese. But you could really get away with just a pair of pants because these things hold up and I love it. And just buy like a kind of cheaper top. And if you really want to be a cheapskate, you could probably buy a used top. So that would be my honest recommendation. And this is my follow-up and origin gi reviews. I hope this helped.